So before we actually talk about contour, I want to talk about the difference between contour and bronzer. So your contour is a matte shade, it's quite dull, and it's used on the low points of the skin. So basically where you have a shadow, and this will emphasize the bone structure. Whereas a bronzer can be matte satin or shimmer, it's usually more of a vibrant tone, and it's used on the high points of the skin to fake that sunkiss glow. So when you're choosing a contour, you have to make sure that it works with your skin tone. If you have a warm skin tone, go for a neutral tone. If you have a cooler neutral skin tone, you can go for a cooler tone. And it should be at least one shade darker than your skin. It doesn't have to be too dark. And it can be cream or powder. If you are using creams, however, make sure you apply it before you apply your setting powder. Otherwise, it's clog city. So I'm going to take my brush, and this is actually a foundation brush, but it has a nice little angle to it. And this means I can really work in the contour. So I pick up a little bit of the contour, just on the edge of that angle. And when you're applying contour, I tend to use my brow arch as a guide. I never want to bring my contour in too far. Some people like to use the edge of their eye as well, so you want to make sure you're adjusting this depending on your face shape. So I feel for the hollow of my cheekbone, and you can do a few funny faces, move your face around in order to find that shape. Or if you don't have it, you can always add it in where you want to. And I basically run the brush along the edge of the face, working upwards towards the ear and making sure not to pass the edge of my arch, my brow. This will just prevent you from bringing your contour in too far. And I don't blend right away, I actually do the other side of my face to begin with and just check the angles to make sure it's working for me. I then take whatever's left over in the brush and work around the hairline, making sure to use the edge of my arch as a guide as well. I don't want to bring my contour right across my forehead. I want to bring it up around my hairline. You also don't want to apply too much contour around the hairline because it can kind of look muddy. So only use whatever is left over on the brush. Once I feel like the angle's right, I will then blend in the contour that's on the cheeks. And I like to work in an upwards motion because we never want our contour to come down too far. If it comes down too far, it can kind of create a bearded effect. But using the edge of your arch or the edge of your eye as a guide will definitely help to make sure your contour is in the right position. But you may need to adjust it depending on your own face structure. But less is actually more when it comes to contour. So don't overdo it. Use your natural bone structure and just emphasize it however you prefer. I know it used to be a massive thing here on YouTube, but I feel like more people are sticking to what works for them. If you do have any more questions about contouring, you can definitely let me know or even just send me a picture of your face on Instagram and I can try and help figure out where your lines would be. Don't feel like you have to change your face shape, just emphasize what's already there.